Chapter 11 of Find Your Way Home is Unite Your Spirituality and Your Sexuality. Psalm 139 sings, O Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from far away. And then, for it was you who formed my inward parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. We are sexual beings, and that is a wonderful and sacred and just fantastic thing. We have been given these bodies that are fearfully and wonderfully made, and we have been given the ability and even the compulsion to rejoice in them, to rejoice in our own bodies, to rejoice in each other's bodies. We are quite literally made for each other, drawn to each other. And we know that because the exercise of our sexuality can be some of the most deeply meaningful and intoxicatingly electric pieces of our lives. And we also know that because our sexuality touches the deepest parts of us. As high as the highs can be, the depths of the trauma can be even more profound when our agency over our bodies is compromised or taken away, when our bodies are targeted abused, and commodified. Our sexuality is at our very core as human beings. And yet for nearly 2,000 years, the church has primarily been a place that has condemned our sexuality and at the very least has assumed a, a don't ask, don't tell attitude toward it. Uniting our spirituality and our sexuality is an integral part of being the church, being the body of Christ with integrity. It means we must become a safe place for us to talk about our sexuality, our joys and our struggles with it, and to talk without shame. It means we must take a deep look at ourselves and see where we are being complicit with our society's commodification and objectification of women's bodies. It means we must become a community where consent to physical touch is honored at all times. Because even what might seem to us a friendly hug offered at the peace is an act of violence if it is not welcomed by the other person. For nearly 2,000 years, the church has kept our sexuality in the darkness and the holiness of communities like Magdalene shows us what can happen if we bring it into the light. We can claim ourselves again, claim our agency over our bodies, claim the joy of being sexual beings made in the image of God, claim the mission of honoring that in ourselves and in one another.